So here we are in Google Photos. This is Google Photos on an iPhone. This is Google Photos on an iPad. This is Google Photos on an Android tablet and here on an Android phone. And finally, this is Google Photos on a computer. So it works on all of those devices. Um, and some of you may say, well, I've got an iPhone and uh, my images sync with iCloud. You need to look at the earlier uh, video that explains about iCloud versus Google Photos. Because when your phone fills up with pictures, as it does, and you want to delete them off your iPhone, you delete them from your iPhone, they'll also disappear from your iCloud and from your Apple Mac, and they'll disappear from your iPad if you've got those devices. It's only by syncing them to Google Photos that you can delete them off your devices and it remains in Google Photos. That's why we, that's why I advocate using Google Photos. And of course, I've forgot to show you uh, an example of this, but of course it, it works on the Apple Mac as well. So here we are in the album view of uh, Google Photos. Uh, Google creates these ones across the top automatically. Uh, things, places, it recognizes the difference between things and places and people. It recognizes faces too. And these are the some of the albums I've created. This one here as old heritage photos that I've found uh, of my old hometown of concert, particularly the steelworks. This one is an experimental album, trying out a few things. Um, this one, of a visit to Newcastle, I'll come back to that later because that's I've made that a public album and I'll tell you more about that later. This one is a particular favourite. Uh, it's Hardwick Country Park and you'd think I'd visit it at, at night but it was during the day, it was so misty that it created these lovely atmospheric photographs. Some of them are just amazing. Midday, that's a particular favourite of mine. Um, now, a lot of these photographs Let's go to the photos view. They end up in, in here through a, a range of means. Some I've uploaded. Some are automatically backed up to my Google Photos from my iPhone for the very reason that I explained earlier. Here's one I took just today um, on a, a socially distant walk and um, it's some lovely wild flowers. Now, these buttons across the top will do a variety of things. You've got share, and I'll get into that on a, a later video. And you, you can edit the image. I'll get into that on a later video. You can zoom in. This is the information button. Let me show you this. So it tells you that I took the photograph today, 23rd of April. It tells you the image size and that it was taken on the Apple iPhone SE and there's the aperture size and all that stuff I don't understand it um, and it actually because it was taken on a smartphone uh, it knows where the photograph was taken as well in that field at the top end of Norton pretty cool that there's a few more things you can do you can delete the image and it doesn't immediately get deleted, it goes into the bin and you have to delete it again, empty the bin, if you really want rid of it. And these three dots open up some more options. Create a slideshow, download it, so this picture isn't on my computer, it's uh, taken with my iPhone uh, and backed up to Google Photos. I could download it to the computer if I want. I could rotate it if it was, you know, the wrong way around. And I can add it to an album and I'm going to add it to a shared album. I'll tell you more about shared albums later. But I'm going to add it to an album and it's going to show us what albums I got added to. I'm going to add it to that experimental album. And there you go. So if I go back to my albums view and go into the experimental album there's that picture I just added. And let me show you something else about 
albums. The, this group of photographs and, and a couple of videos uh, are part of um, the video, the production process and making a video you may have seen about Google Photoscan. Um, so they've got backed up to my Google Photos too. So if I hover over the image and I imagine on the iPad or smartphone if you, you touch the image you, you see that little selector comes up on the left hand side I'm going to click on that and now that image is selected I'm going to go through them all including the videos and I've oh there's another one now I've selected them all I go up here to the plus button and I can create an album or a shared album or a collage. I'm going to create an album and I'm going to create a new album. I could add it to an existing album but I'm creating a new one. I give it a title and I, that little tick up in the top left hand side I click on that and it's done. I'll hit the back arrow, go back to albums view and there you go there's the rekindle tutorial Google Photoscan album. Now you've got those three dots there it means I can rename the album, share the album or delete the album and somewhere in there I can choose which picture represents the album in, in this view. But I'm not, I think that one's quite nice, that's fine. If I click on that, you'll see all those images have opened. That's where, in the three little dots at the top, when you're in the album, that's where we can set the album cover. So we can choose a different one. Let's make it that one there. Select Done. If we go back and view, you see now that is the image that represents that album and I could share that album or I could make it public so much you can do uh, I think that'll do for one video I'll show you some more in the next video thanks for watching this one see you later